welcome back guys so let's see how we can install and also run windows 11 from a usb so let's get started so we will download the official windows 11 iso image from the microsoft website um, so use this link and just choose windows 11 international version or any other language and then confirm and you will get a 64 bit download option so but if you want to use 32 bit you can maybe try windows 10 so the download has started so i'm using an external download manager we will be using rufus for the next process so also make sure you have at least uh, 16 gb pen drive or above that then we will select our iso image and uh, also like set your partition scheme uh, if you want to check what your partition scheme is just go to the disk management and uh, under the disk zero right click and select properties and then under volume you can see your partition scheme here it is showing gpt so in the partition i will select that and in the image options we need to select windows to go we have other options as well if you have some error with tpm you can use that but in this video we will be using windows to go and this will help us to run windows from the usb now hit the start button and you will see a prompt it is asking to choose the windows version so i'm going to select the windows 11 pro you can select any version that you want this is option that we do not see while we are like uh, on a usual install so now it will format the pen drive and it's going to take a lot of time for me it took a little longer than the uh, usual process but once it is finished now we need to, we need to boot into our bios and uh, then we will under the boot device options we're going to see our pen drive and we will select that and then you will see your logo and this may take a lot of time to load the image um, it depends on your system configuration and let it check the disk do not skip it let it check the disk for me when i skipped it yeah, it kind of crashed and after it has done checking it's going to take a little time but your system will like restart some time but do not worry and then you will see this uh, before loading the screen you will see the just a moment uh, loading animation and then we have our usual setup so select your language and uh, your keyboard layout So it may be a little unresponsive because you know it is running from the pen drive uh, we need to add our look uh, like wi-fi network so do that this is the usual windows 11 setup if you don't want to use microsoft account choose offline uh, offline account and then just skip this and just choose a username and uh, uh, a random password so if you want to use microsoft account you can do that but you can also use this it's better then you need to set some security questions and you can do that and you will be in the home screen so this is windows 11 um, it's very like kind of slower because it's running from the pen drive so um, i will highly advise you to be a little patient with it so you can see the uh, our usb has become the c drive and there is very little space left so that's why i say 16 gb to be minimum you should go for even higher than that to get a little bit more space and the settings app is taking longer to open it depends upon your system mine is about a, a kind of average laptop so it takes a little more time and also i will advise you to uh, use a 3.2 USB uh, 3.1 or 3.0 and also insert it into a 3.0 port as well so it is much faster so you can see it has a lot of updates uh, but I'm not going to install it because it will only like increase the size of the um, 
that's that space it is taking and if I check the properties so you can see it says Windows 11 Pro here and we can see the system information so I have a Ryzen 5 2500U and 8 GB of RAM and if you check the task manager so the same processes that we see normally all the RAM and CPU information and the difference is only it is running from a USB stick so the faster the USB and your port is the better it will run also your system should be capable enough so yeah that was it for this video and i hope you like this one and i'll see you in the next one